Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Puppy Bowl 11 pregame show. I'm James Hound alongside analyst Rottweiler and Jack Russell. Guys, you know what? I think it's time for my favorite part of the show. You know what I'm talking about? It's the come on, dog of the week. Yeah. Yes. We've gone back to the Puppy Bowl film vault for this edition. Rot, my man, you're up first. Well, you always want to finish your blocks. That, that's just good technique. But to do that, you have to stay on your feet. And boy, does that not happen here. I mean, look, the pups are all squared up, and boom, slip. Nope, he gets up again, and oh, there he goes. He's down again. And nope, he's, he's not going to get up. He gets up. I mean, look at him. He's just sliding all over the place. It's like he's wearing ice skates. I mean, you'd think that maybe he would move away, push, but use his blocking ability, use a technique, push the puppy off that center logo. Get it on the turf. I mean, it's just not happening. How does that happen? Come on, dog. I mean, I've seen better finishes with an eight week old. I mean, a Husky would not have that problem with those big paws. They can really, really get down and get those blockers. So, um, you know, you just gotta do better than that. Something like that will make a coach get fired. All right, Rod, I think you've got time for uh, one more. Yeah, I sure do, Jay Hound. What I'd like to talk about is focus or lack thereof. You know, you've done all the hard work to get by a first pup and the end zone is right in sight, but you get distracted, whether it's cheerleaders, another puppy, or the water bowl. I mean, what are they thinking? The end zone is right there, right in front of you, and what do you do? Oh, hey, I'm thirsty. Really? I'm gonna put my head in there, lap up some water. The end zone is just a foot away. You're gonna score. I mean, come on, dog. Well, I, I, got, I, I say I, I uh, agree with you, but I have to say also when you're thirsty, you're just thirsty. Uh, Jack, you've got one more as well, right? Yes, I do. I mean, this one's not as, as crazy as the, the water bowl thing, but you know, this is just an epic size blunder. I mean, uh, I don't know if it's a case of, of big game nerves or if, or if it's just you know, too much pregame hydration, but let's go to the replay. Do we definitely need to go to the replay? JH, it's totally cool. I've checked with our graphics guys. We're able to blur what might be sensitive material to some viewers. Okay, so what we see here is we see our pup, and everything seems to be just fine. Oh, right there. Maybe replay was a bad idea? I mean, I have nothing to say, but uh, come on, dog. You know, I will say that after he takes a break, he does look totally relieved. I mean, it. wow, that's impressive. I, but, but in the middle of Puppy Bowl, come on, dog. And you know, in situations like that, the referee is forced to go in on that infraction and, and, and clean up the mess, so. Do you know what the ref is thinking? I know what he's thinking. Yeah. Come, come on, on dog. dog. Well, that's it for now. That's all the time we have to talk puppies and football. My thanks to my friends and analyst, Mr. Rottweiler. It was my pleasure. I love talking puppy bowl. And Mr. Jack Russell. It was great being here, James. Thank you so much. We've told you what we think might happen, the player pups to look out for, and some of the plays that you might see early and often. But as always, we want to hear from you. Vote now at hashtag puppy bowl, hashtag team fluff, hashtag team rough. For the Geico Puppy Bowl 11 pregame show, I'm James Hound. Thanks for watching.